Hey guys, Adrian here, Mr. Guru X. Uh, so you're watching this on my personal channel because um, I want to give you guys a little update. Uh, sorry, I haven't one uploaded a lot of videos to this channel, Mr. Guru X, and I haven't even done that much for Laker Cool Man, my main channel. To be honest, I've been really busy. Third week, fourth week of school now. Um, but one thing I've been really working on after school, I always go to the library with my friends, and because uh, we always have to go there, I, I get picked up there. But um, one thing I also went there for was to study for. Uh, a test that I don't have to take, I believe, till the end of this, either this quarter or the end of the year. I'm not positive, but I'm in a class, as you, somebody, some of you may know on Twitter, called uh, CSS, not Cascading Style Sheet, not you know, HTML or programming, but it's uh, Computer Service and Support. That's basically, you know, knowing the insides of the computer. So far, we've taken one apart. You know, we, we're gonna, we haven't assembled it back together yet. You know, just taking apart old machines. You know, right now we're on the hardware level. We're gonna go through the hardware, and then I'm sure we'll go through the software and all that stuff. Um, so, um, with that class, uh, we'll be given an opportunity, if we pass, I believe, another test before it, to take, uh, a test to get A-plus certified. If you guys don't know what it is, um, well, first off, uh, we took it one test already on, like, some hardware, and surprisingly, I did, you know, it's, it's, it's harder, I, I expected the class to be a little hard, obviously, but, you know, at the same time, I expected it to be really easy, because I do, I had a head start, which, you know, I did know a lot of the basics, but... There was some stuff I didn't know, which I have to admit, and uh, I did pass my first test, which was good, because it was a pretty hard test. But um, the biggest test I've been studying for, and I've been doing this for the last two weeks now, like I said, it's A-plus certification by CompTIA. CompTIA is the uh, Computing Tech uh, Technology Industri Industry Association, sorry. Um, and they offer the A-plus certification, which is for technicians, you know, technical support. And um, I'm going to read great. This is a book I got right here. The, one of the books I got was A plus certification for dummies because this is one obviously that it's open to anybody that can take it. And luckily, being in the military, in military school, we get to take the test for free. It usually costs you around 200 bucks around there. Um, you know, uh, just to read you some of the stuff you're going to go over, you go over installation, configuration, upgrading, diagnos diagnosing, and troubleshooting. Uh, preventive maintenance, motherboards, processors, memory, printers, basic networking, OS fundamentals, installation, configuration and upgrading, diagnostics and troubleshooting, and network. So it's broken into your core hardware and your OS technologies. They're both uh, part of the two tests. Um, well, if you get this, obviously you get it's recognized worldwide as a certification when you're you know getting a job, applying for a job, anything like that. So you know it gives you a good head start and. Um, at my age, ninth grade, they said a ninth grader a couple of years ago has passed the test before, but obviously, you know, it's not that. I'm sure it's not that normal at our school because uh, it is a hard test. You have to study for a lot of stuff. But um, I got a lot of the stuff down. I got a lot of notes. So, you know, it's a lot of stuff right now. I'm going over the BIOS in this book. Um, I'm on the chapter of BIOS. Uh, you have to know how to convert hexadecimals to binary and vice versa. Um, I also got this book right here, The Central Guide to Computing, which explains a lot of the architecture of computing, CPUs, uh, memory, and stuff like that. At the same time, I mean, I'm trying to pick up a little bit more of my programming. Uh, I want to review uh, HTML, CSS, XHTML, and uh, getting more into PHP. Now, so um, I've been you know, really, really busy studying for the test. I got a lot of the uh, hardware down. I'm moving into the software. I think I'll be do doing better on the software. Uh, more, you know, it's more, uh, how, do I, how should I say this, um, you know, I feel more at home on the software side, but, you know, at the hardware, uh, I've gotten a lot of studying, and uh, it's working, at, you know, it's working good, and I have another computer right here, I mean, another book, I should say, this is the big one, this is an older model, uh, this is a big book, it's upgrading or repairing your PCs, and it includes a DVD, um, it tells you a lot of information, this is just something side, uh, side, so I can learn some more stuff and produce more videos for you guys because I'm going to do a lot of cool new videos uh, concerning that. So sorry I've been talking about this, but I really am studying for this. Hopefully I get this. Uh, I get to take the test on the OS and hardware part. Um, and I'm looking forward to, uh, what do you call that? Hopefully achieving it. So yeah. Um, and quick update. Um, I haven't been filming with this Averio camera. If you guys follow me on Twitter because I did something really stupid and I kind of broke the port. And you guys can, oh, obviously that's not the camera. In there, you can't really see it, that port where my finger's pointing at. I pulled the cable out, and there's like something stuck in there. I, you know, everything, when we try to get it out, it broke. Uh, one, I might send it in for repair if possible, but, you know, if that's the case, and it's already going to cost me that much money, I'm just going to probably buy a new camera, and I already decided I'm going to go for a pocket camera. Um, I'm going for the, uh, which one was it? No, I can't even remember. Sorry, I'm trying to stick this back in. 
Uh, it wasn't the Kodak. I know it was something that dealed with the Kodak ZI8, and you know it comp competed against it. It was the uh, Creative Auto HD uh, second generation, which looks really nice. 720p video, very very nice wide angle lens, awesome stuff. So I'll be going for that to start converting to HD. Um, I may still try to repair this, and also I found out obviously there's a micro SD slot right here, which you can't see, um, which is I have an adapter for that, so you can this right here. These actually come in as low as 64 up to I believe 32 gigabytes if I'm not mistaken so in these little small things right here and I have this adapter so you can take this and take the micro SD and plug it into a computer so I can upload videos that way it'll be a little bit you know I'm sure it can record to that I've tried it before but I'm just not sure you know how much video will take up you know quick especially because this is only 64 megabytes I am ordering a 32 gigabyte one but uh, pretty sure it's 32 gigabytes that's a lot for such a tiny chip anyway uh, so if I don't get this repaired and all working, I'm probably going to get the Creative Auto anyway, most likely. So you should see that coming up in a couple weeks. Anyways, guys, uh, this is also right here. This is the Blue Snowflake mic that you guys can kind of see right there. Sorry, I've been using that a lot lately. It's a great microphone. Anyways, guys, um, that's just talking a little bit about the A-plus certification. If any of you guys out there are technicians that have A-plus certified, got any tips, any you know good sites to review, any good books to recommend, uh, comment me, message me, send me an email at adrianstech at gmail.com. Sorry, I let this video go really, really long. Um, anyways, guys, sorry I've been busy. Um, more videos come soon, uh, and hopefully wish me luck on the test when I get to take it. Thanks for watching.